Tom Selleck is shedding off his private investigator image to become a mystery writer who falls in love with a woman charged with murder. That's this afternoon's film, Her Alibi, at ten past four. Now, though, it's news time. Hello. Thousands of homes are still without power after some of the worst snowstorms in living memory in the north of Scotland. Engineers have been battling to restore supplies in bitterly cold Arctic weather. Some families have now gone two nights without electricity. Lauren Taylor reports. Well, I'm sorry, we don't have that report for the moment. We'll hope to come back to it. The Pope, who was too ill to complete his Christmas Day message, had recovered enough today to finish his holiday greetings. Although he still looked tired and drawn, the Pope did manage to speak in six different languages, including English. This report is from Nick Phipps. Pope John Paul appeared at his balcony to a warm welcome from the crowd waiting in St Peter's Square. Although clearly tired, he went ahead with his Boxing Day prayer and blessing, normally delivered at his country home, but today at the Vatican on doctor's orders. He was forced to cut short his Christmas Day greetings, suffering from the flu. But today he thanked the crowd for coming and sent festive greetings to people around the world. May the joy of Christmas and the peace which the birth of the Saviour brings into the world be in your hearts forever. The Pope will now rest. He'll next appear in public on New Year's Eve. Nick Phipps, ITN. Back now to the